Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Josh. I do a lot of videos on IT, cybersecurity, career, and education type things. And as you might have guessed, today's video is going to be covering the cloud computing degree from Western Governors University. And more specifically, I'm going to kind of compare it to the general IT degree so we can have like kind of a nice reference point. So I'll, I'll cover a few things in this video, like the differences between the classes in the two. And I'll kind of do like a, I'll use Indeed job search to kind of do a quantitative analysis on the two and try to figure out which one is better in terms of market marketability and then i'll kind of give my general opinion at the end of the video as to like which one is better or kind of which one you should go for so if you're interested in getting an online degree or interested in wgu or kind of on the fence between either of these two programs go ahead and watch this video to the end it will be super useful i promise so let's get started Oh, and before we get started, I just want to do a disclaimer. I don't actually have the cloud computing degree. I, I do have three degrees from WGU though. I have the general IT degree, the master's of science in cybersecurity and information assurance. And then I just recently finished the comp side degree. So I've, I've taken a bunch of classes from WGU and I kind of have a pretty good idea of, of how things go. And I've, I've worked in IT for, for quite a while, especially in the cloud computing space as of recently. So I have, um, I think I can at least give kind of somewhat of an opinion, but I just want to like throw that out there. I don't actually have the degree that I'm reviewing, but I have some other stuff, I guess. So for most of this video, we'll kind of be using the spreadsheet here to talk about and compare the two degrees. It looks kind of noisy, but I'll kind of explain it. It's it's super simple. So the first thing you might notice is this big red thing up here about saving 30% from study.com. The reason for this is a lot of the courses in WGU programs, you can actually complete them outside of WGU at study.com, for example, and then transfer them in, knocking out like like a whole bunch of classes that you that you won't actually have to do once you get registered. So you can kind of pre-do some of these classes from study.com and transfer them in, thus kind of reducing the amount of time it takes for you to graduate your degree. I kind of talk about that a bit in this video. So check that out. So basically there's kind of two sections. The left side here, this everything here is like the general IT degree and everything on the right side, this is the cloud computing degree. And all these classes that appear as links, these are classes that you can actually do inside study.com and then transfer them in for credit, like before you actually enroll, kind of, you know, reducing the time it takes for you to graduate WGU. Um, that's what that's what this thing is up here for. If you decide to do that, you can save 30%. So basically getting into the differences between these two, general IT on the left again, cloud computing on the right. So any of the classes that have kind of a gray background to them, that means both degrees have the same classes. So for example, if I go to general IT, filter by color, field color, filter light gray, you can kind of see these classes on both sides are exactly the same. It just kind of shows which classes that both the degree programs have. So I'll go ahead and clear this filter. And then on the left side, any of the any of the classes that have a kind of blue shaded background to them, that means that these classes only exist within the general IT degree. So for example, if I go over here and filter the field color by light blue, you can assume that these kind of classes over here, these only appear in the general IT degree course. Like you won't find them in the cloud computing course. So we can kind of dive into this like a little bit right now, I guess. You'll notice there's a pretty decent amount in terms of the general degree, there's much more kind of gen ed, like generic classes in the general IT than the cloud computing degree. So for example, like critical thinking and logic, kind of applicable to IT, but not really like a, you know, not really like a tech class. In English composition for sure, some math, organizational behavior and leadership. Uh, it's kind of gen ed-ish, I guess. Principles of management, it's not really technical. Uh, spreadsheets, kind of technical. And these, these last two are technical. So if I clear this, and then I go to the cloud computing one. Um, for cloud computing, any of the any of the classes with green that are green shaded means they only exist in cloud computing and you won't find them in the gen ed degree or in the general IT degree. So if I filter this by color, filter, and then light green. So these are the classes that only appear in the cloud computing degree. And you'll notice like kind of immediately there's there's not really any gen ed, gen ed classes that exist in this course that don't exist in the general IT degree, except for introduction to biology. And that's transfer transferable from study.com. So there's a, there's a lot more, I can kind of see already, there's a lot more technical classes in the cloud computing degree than there is in the general IT degree. Not only that, there seems to be a lot more kind of programming and scripting and 
automation type classes in the cloud degree in the cloud computing degree, which I think is super, super useful, to be honest. I could talk about this a lot, but I'm going to kind of dedicate like a whole video around why I think you need to code if you want to get in, if you want to get into IT or cyber, like we can already look uh, automation, introduction to programming in Python and scripting and automation, super useful. And if you can kind of make projects around these or kind of generate your own experience and put it in like a GitHub on your resume, definitely it's going to make you a, a stronger candidate in my opinion. So we'll clear this filter and then I'll kind of compare the differences between cert certifications between the two. So I will, I'll just filter the cloud computing side and I'll say, let's see, I'm going to remove the blanks and I'll say, okay. And then we can kind of see the certs between the two degrees are, are almost exactly the same with the exception of cloud computing having these kind of two extra certs, this cloud applications, or which is the CompTIA Cloud Plus and this AWS SysOps admin. These two only exist in the cloud computing degree where they don't exist in the general IT degree. So like from a pure marketability standpoint and only like looking at your resume, definitely the cloud computing degree is better in my opinion. And it's also better in terms of skill and actually making you to be a uh, a more rounded IT professional, I suppose. Kind of the only drawback I can see with this is generally speaking with the WGU, like the more third party certificates a degree program has, generally speaking, the longer that program will take with the exception of the computer science degree. This is this is why I kind of recommend like if somebody just wants to go like super fast, and they just want to graduate fast, I generally recommend the IT management degree because it doesn't really have any third party certs. But if you're not really concerned with like time or potential cost, like if it takes you two terms to complete instead of one or like three terms instead of two, if you don't really care about that, you know, and you're you're balancing these two, I would definitely go for the cloud computing degree just because it has less gen ed classes and it has more certs which kind of make you more marketable in the end in my opinion and another thing i want to kind of cover here so let me clear this filter so if we kind of scroll to the bottom you'll see these two numbers um this 31851 under the general it degree and the 32123 under the cloud computing degree these are just basically the number of, of jobs that i found on indeed when i was searching indeed for the different search that each degree program has, if that makes sense. So at the time when I made this, I just went to Indeed and I typed in like ITIL, for example, and this many jobs came out. I typed CompTIA Project Plus or CompTIA Project, and then this many jobs came out. And because these two degrees have all the same certificates with the exception of these two like AWS degrees, the number is like almost the same, but obviously cloud computing is going to be a little bit more marketable in terms of how many different jobs match the search that this particular degree program has, if that makes sense. And I just searched these like across the whole country, just as a kind of way to objectively compare the two degrees. It's not the best objective comparison, to be honest, but at least it's it's something, I suppose. And something I want you to keep in mind when you're trying to decide which degree you're going to get, you're definitely not going to be pigeonholed. For example, if you if you go the cloud computing degree, it doesn't mean you can only do cloud computing jobs. Or if you go the software development degree, it doesn't mean you can only do software development jobs. You have to remember, like, like IT is generally like unregulated and there's no like degree requirement or or any kind of requirement for, for anything for the most part, unless you're working for defense. So you can you can have no degree, right? And you can be a software engineer or a cloud architect, or you can have a degree in history and you can be like a security analyst or something like this. It doesn't really matter. The criteria that I would use to pick the degree, honestly, is first of all, like your budget is the constraint for everything, like your time and money, like what you're comfortable with, if that makes sense. So if you, for example, you only have like a budget of four thousand dollars and a timeline of like I don't know ten months or something. You probably don't want to go for the computer science degree. I'll probably go for like the you know IT management degree or something that you can complete like pretty fast. Or if your your time and money like you're flexible on it and you're really interested in, in cloud computing, like you're super interested in cloud applications and data center vir virtualization and all of that, I would definitely go for the program that you you find to be most interesting, to be honest, because in the end, like even if you don't want to work in cloud computing, if you had fun doing the degree or something, you can go and work in like a different area of IT. In the end, it, it doesn't really matter that much. And say you you get the degree in cloud computing, but you know, you don't want to work in cloud computing, you don't have to put like cloud computing bachelors on your on your resume, you can just put like bachelors of science information technology or something like this, because it doesn't it doesn't really matter in the end, unless you're unless you're trying to do computer science or something like this, where that tends to matter like a little bit more to employers. But 
we're not really talking about that in this in this video. So if you look, if your timeline and money is okay, and you look at this and you think cloud computing is fun, I would just honestly, I'll just go with cloud computing if I were you. And objectively speaking, kind of ignoring the timeline and everything, in my opinion, the cloud computing degree is is obviously better than the general IT degree, just because it has more certs. And then the classes are kind of more applicable to technology. And there's kind of less general ed classes that you have to take. Um, to be fair, the general IT degree, of course, it's probably going to it's probably going to take less time to complete because some of the classes, a lot of the classes seem to be easier, like the kind of general education classes, probably some of those are easier. And on top of that, it has less third party certs. And as a general rule of thumb, I've, I've taken so many classes and third party certs in my life. Generally speaking, third party certs are, are more difficult than the actual classes that WG offers. So you just got to keep that in mind if you're concerned with like cost and timeline and all of that. And another thing I kind of want to touch on is cloud computing is generally transferable between platforms. So like what I mean by this is say you get like these all these AWS certs from your WGU program, like just because you have AWS certs doesn't mean somebody won't hire you to work on like Azure or Google Cloud or something like this. I've seen like so many times where for example, I'm working at Microsoft and then Microsoft will bring in like engineers who work in Amazon for AWS based on the assumption that you know, they've gotten to know AWS and they're good at it. So that must mean that they can like kind of directly transfer those skills to work in Azure. Because if you kind of like abstract everything, it's basically the same, like the same principles kind of exist in both worlds, like elasticity and like cloud computing and like that shared responsibility model with the, the customer and all those things. It's pretty much the same on both sides. So I don't don't be worried like, oh, like all these AWS, I'm going to be like pigeonholed in AWS. It doesn't really work that way. I've had a whole bunch of like friends and coworkers who work in one and then go and totally like work for some other like purely SaaS cloud provider or something like this based on their previous cloud experience. So it's like really flexible. Like I wouldn't worry too much about the, the search like pigeonholing you. I think um, w, WG was pretty smart to use AWS because I think AWS might be the the largest cloud provider. Um, I feel like that's something that I should know. I think they are. Um, so they're smart for using those certs, but just know that it's like really trans transferable, especially in like cloud support engineering. Like you can make a lot of decent money being like a support engineer for like Amazon or, or Microsoft, depending on the platform, just because it's support, like don't, don't let that fool you. You easily make over a hundred K in these kind of large companies doing that. That's pretty much all I had to talk about. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. I always respond to everybody's comments in all my videos. So if you have like questions or criticism or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to use the study.com discount code if you're applying to get into a WGU degree and kind of transfer some courses in ahead of time. But yeah, other than that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. See you later.